Man, is it just me or does it feel weird to have Chainsaw Man on a Tuesday? But enough of that, man. We're back. I'm your host, man. It's B3. And we have another Chainsaw Man chapter. Chapter number 99. Hmm. This is a pretty calm chapter. I'm not going to overhype it. I'm not going to say it was, oh my gosh, the best chapter ever. No, no, no. It's pretty calm. And let's just hop straight into it. You know my motto. You read it. I read it. So let's just go on to the main topics that I found were more interesting, or at least at the bare minimum, um, juicy. For like, for starters, let's go back to last week's chapter. And it's an interesting quote that goes from War Devil, who for this video, I'm just going to be calling War because that's a lot simple. And if we were to go back to chapter 98, War states, just you wait, Chainsaw Man. I will make you vomit nuclear weapons back up. Vomit nuclear weapons back up. And what we know of Chainsaw Man's ability to eat names, this plays such a big role in what Machina states. If I were to be specific, I believe it was chapter 84, 85. It was when Machina was expanding her fandom for Chainsaw Man and why she's such a big fan of him. And she talks about one of Chainsaw Man's power. The ability to eat something and once he eats your name. Well, not something, your name. The ability to eat your name. And once Chainsaw Man eats your name, it ceases to exist. And Machina, through her powers of control, is vaguely able to remember some of these things. But she herself is the only one to ever remember. And this is her stating herself. And Machina has been around this world for a long time. So for this would be a very important statement. And this quote is so important because in Machina's explanation of Chainsaw Man's ability to eat names, she gave example of names that he has already eaten. And these names no longer exist. But for War to actually know one of these names, it would honestly mean that War is connected to nuclear weapons. And it makes sense because War and nuclear weapons, the Cold War, they go hand in hand together. And this is the connection that brings the two together. This is War's motive for Chainsaw Man. This is what connects them. This is what War truly wants. To throw up nuclear war. <laughs> to throw up nukes. She wants Chainsaw Man to release that name and bring it back into existence so that nuclear wars can exist again so that war's power continue to grow and she can make more weapons and just get become the most strongest devil of all. Because war is very well feared. And with Chainsaw Man's ability to erase name, it feels, it's Chainsaw Man's ultimate ability why he's the most feared devil. Because he himself can make the biggest fears of you just disappear. Let's say, for example... Like the most scariest insect in the world were cockroaches. And you're the and you're the insect devil. If Chainsaw Man ate the word cockroach, cockroach would cease to exist. And you being the insect devil, if cockroach are incest, I don't know. I'm not a psychologist, so I'm sorry. Then your powers would decrease. So this would this is actually why Chainsaw Man is such a great threat in hell too. This is this is this is quite amazing. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm surprised I figured it out. <laughs> Uh, yo, can I get a like for that, man? Can I get a like for that? <laughs> Please. And even if you were to say that these things aren't fully connected, this would imply that to a certain degree that war, if not have the same power as Machina, is on a safe equivalent to Machina, at least when maybe within age or timeline, because war is as old as time and control is as old as time. So this would imply that these two beings are not that far off. I actually don't know if Tatsuji plans to make War the main devil. I honestly, I don't know what his goal is for War. I, I kind of feel, I, you can never predict Tatsuji Fujimoto. That's, if I've learned anything to Chainsaw Man Park 1, you can never truly predict him. So now, it, it actually just brings a good, it brings, hmm, excuse me. So it brings up the point, what is his goal for War? I actually don't know. It's, I'm just, I'm just so happy to have it back. I'm amazed I figured it out. I'm a genius. Hit, give me another like hit another like just for that <laughs> uh, but if <laughs> but if we were to get on about chapter 99 because this is a review for 99 i have to remind myself that um we talk about some more interesting topics such as the unique devil that is war war seems to be a different type of devil and it's kind of hard to pinpoint what type of devil it is i don't know if war is a fiend i know for a fact war is not a hybrid because or maybe it's just a contract for, for war to be a hybrid, most hybrid devils such as Denji require some type of attribute. Like for Denji, it's him pulling the chest. For Bomb, it's her pulling the collar and neck and exploding her head. We've seen it with, with, um, with Scythe, it's him pulling the Scythe out of the eyes. We've seen this in many form, and those are normally hybrid devils, which would explain, and hybrid devils have a attribute of being immortal. But with war, war seems to be a fiend. At least that's what the only one I can predict, or maybe a new type. But if we were to go on basic history such as fiends, like such as power, 
it doesn't seem to make sense because war says i'm only able to control you because i'm in control of half your brain but we've seen power lost her entire body at least her whole stomach half get blown up and the head is still remaining but then is able to respawn herself within denji because she gave him some of her blood this may be the properties of how power is power work <laughs> double entendre but yeah and this is leading me to believe that the war devil was not being truthful with mikada yeah i know finding trustworthy devils but if we're again a serious point it's a bit peculiar that war says i'm keeping half your brain around so that she can interact with human society because war herself doesn't is familiar with human society yet she will literally switch places in front of a stranger just to get information on chainsaw man this either equals that war is more devoted about finding chainsaw man than staying secure or war is lying because for war to just switch places and like it's not even something like that would be like unnoticeable. Scars literally come in her face and the eyes are even changed. He himself even took a point to notice that, oh, the scars. And this is just a bit odd behavior. It honestly makes me question, well, if war, what war is telling her is even true. I believe, like I said, I don't know if it's a fiend. It, it's definitely is a hybrid. And if war was a true devil, I believe war would have full control. So my idea would be that war is in a sense have a contract and we don't know if full validity is a contract maybe she herself can't remember the full contract because of the shock of death but we will get more into that later and if we were to continue the conversation on war many people seem to be confused about war's power i myself am not fully convinced i truly understand war's power but i'm gonna base it based off of machina because war states herself if you become mines then i could turn you into weapon and use your will but then the question is what is yours is it an emotional attraction it's <laughs> emotional attraction oh brother i i speak english i swear it's an emotion if a <laughs> as i butchered my words is it an emotional attachment is it physical attraction is it your point of view if we use machina as an example machina is the control devil and she states that if she views you as less than her then she could control you this would explain why she couldn't control chainsaw man because she viewed chainsaw man as someone above her let me give an example let's say person a is a demon slayer fan machina being a chainsaw man fan clearly is superior so therefore she'd be able to control person a but let's say person B is also a Chainsaw Man fan, but hit the like button on this video. She will be unable to control that individual because they are superior. So don't forget to hit the like button and become superior to Machina. But if, if we were to bring this back to war, this brings up the question of what she, is it a point of view reference? Because and I believe that's to be the case. Although the teacher did, well, it was, it's arguable the teacher had some form of affection towards her. Once she cut the Justice Devil's arm off, she said this is mine, aka viewed it as something that she could claim. She doesn't necessarily, I guess once the, yes. She, and now since she necessarily owns the hand, she was able to turn it to a grenade. Be it that she, once a boy had accepted her love confession, she would have viewed him as a tool, as something she can use to make her own. And that's my personal belief on it. We could get more information. Maybe there has to be an emotional collection. Uh, but I, I swear I speak in this emotional connection. Then that would explain that the class president, even though while jealous of her, still had feelings for her, which is mm, 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 good little character of Elmer right there. But time will tell. But we have to get into the beans of it, man. How can I go this chapter without talking this long about Mashida, man? Which I like to give Mashida a round of applause. This man survived Chainsaw Man Part One. How many characters you know did that, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Tatsuji, you are a monster. But Yoshida himself is on the suspect. We question why Yoshida is even going to this school. And it's kind of odd because when Yoshida first um, introduced himself, he asked if you were sick and I could take you to a nurse's office. But then literally the next sentence says he's new to the school. And before that, there was a little rumbling and tension. I honestly don't know. This is, it's like, I'm just paying attention to every little bit as much as I can because I'm just so happy I got so much, man. This was a very calm chapter, but ooh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm preparing for the storm to come. You really think he's not going to do something amazing for chapter 100? Come on now. Everyone loves 100. I know I prepare for the storm. I'm just trying to get my mind ready because I know chapter 100 is just going to hit, man. This is just the calm before the storm before the storm i swear i can speak english 
But other than that, I didn't think I noticed any more interesting topics than that. This was a very, I would say, short video. But like I said, I only like to go over what I thought. I don't want to read, read it or just go over it. I just see what's interesting there and what you think is interesting. So yeah, tell me if you guys know the same thing. Tell me something I might have missed. Tell me if you saw something more interesting. And please leave a like, you know, become superior to Machina, man. But I right, thank you guys for watching, man. It's been B3. And stay animated.